Hey Ospreys, I'm Brandon Thigpen, here with your North Florida Minute. We start with men's basketball in the arena. In the quarterfinal game on Tuesday, the Ospreys conquered Stetson, 81-67. On Thursday, UNF powered past Lipscomb in the semifinal round with a 71-57 victory over the Bisons. A solid defense carried over from both games into Sunday's championship game against Upstate. Despite cold shooting, UNF got the win, 63-57, in front of 6,155 fans at the UNF Arena, a record for both North Florida and the Atlantic Sun Conference. The win punches their ticket to their first ever NCAA tournament berth. For the latest updates on where and when they will be playing in the big dance, follow at OspreyMBB on Twitter and stay up to date online at UNFOspreys.com. The coach from Upstate said during um, his time here that he saw some of the most aggressive defense out of UNF this game. So can you tell us a little bit about the intensity of the I, Ospreys? I really thought the one thing we talked about is to be locked and loaded. And the theme for today was 50-50 domination. And I thought those guys did a great job trying to dominate 50-50 balls, which are balls that anybody can get and anybody can have. And in the pregame, we talked about being disciplined on defense and understanding how important it is to be locked into who you're guarding as opposed to guarding. And that's critical because you go from Ty to Shunquez, two different type of players. And I really thought our guys were, were locked in, really thought our guys were locked in. So to the, our guys' credit, I think that was, that was the reason because they were locked in. The atmosphere was a lot different for the first time. I know it was, um, we've had a great crowd the whole season. Um, tonight was a sellout, the most in Ace on history, I believe. And then it was just amazing to share with our fans and teammates. And it was amazing to share with my family and my family to be here because they don't get to come to a lot of games because they work. So that was a great feeling. Back home, but on a different court, men's tennis was in action. On Wednesday, the Ospreys defeated South Alabama 4-1, claiming the double and three singles. Then on Sunday, the Ospreys shut out East Carolina 4-zip. The Ospreys took the doubles point and captured three singles. Their overall record stands at 10-2. Women's tennis also played at home this week. They started the week with a shutout victory against the College of Charleston 7-zip. Then on Saturday, they traveled to Tampa, taking on South Florida, edging out a narrow 4-3 victory. North Florida claimed the doubles point in two singles, jumping off to a 3-0 lead but it was Michelle Valdez in the number four singles match to seal the win. Finally, the Ospreys were at home Sunday and handed out another shutout, this time to Jackson State in a 7-0 victory. Their overall record stands at 6-2. Both tennis squads are undefeated at home so far this season. Now we turn to baseball, hitting the road against Florida Atlantic. On Wednesday, the Ospreys fell 7-8 in a 12-inning nail-biter. Another one-run loss followed on Thursday when UNF fell 2-3 to the Owls. Over the weekend, UNF hosted Fairfield, and despite Friday night's game getting postponed, the Ospreys tasted victory in a three-game sweep over the Stags. Next, we travel to Clearwater, where the softball team was in action at the USF Under Armour Classic. On Friday, the Ospreys topped Central Michigan 1-0 and Seton Hall 10-4. Both of Saturday's losses were decided by a single run, though. UNF fell to Wagner 6-7 and SIU Edwardsville 3-4 in a 12-inning game. UNF didn't get a chance to finish the weekend with a victory. The Ospreys fell to Dayton on Sunday 2-3. We end the recap with women's golf, finishing second in the Kiowa Island Classic hosted by the College of Charleston. UNF was runner-up to the College of Charleston, but still had a solid finish ahead of 38 other teams. Here's a preview of next week's action. On Monday, men's golf travels to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the General Hackler Championship hosted by Coastal Carolina University. Also on Monday and into Tuesday, women's golf hosts the UNF Collegiate at the Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. The Ospreys host 17 other teams and look to continue their hot stretch against several nationally ranked teams. Softball is in action at home this week. On Tuesday, they host Toledo in a doubleheader at 4-6. The Ospreys also get a taste of conference action this weekend when they host Florida Gulf Coast in a doubleheader on Saturday at 1-3, and three, then Sunday at 1. The baseball team hits the road on Wednesday for Georgia Southern. First pitch is at 6 p.m. The Ospreys host Brown University this weekend at Harmon Stadium, Friday at 6, Saturday at 1 and 4.30, and Sunday at 1. The sand volleyball team also starts their spring schedule this weekend. They host the UNF Sand Volleyball Invite in St. Augustine, presented by Beach 105.5 FM. They've also got a packed first day with matches against Florida Atlantic, the University of South Carolina, and Flagler. 
Then on Sunday, they face Georgia State and the College of Charleston. Men's tennis converges on Tampa this weekend for the USF Spring Invitational. That will be the first match before a three-week stretch of conference play. We turn to women's tennis to finish this week's preview. On Tuesday, the Ospreys are in Orlando for a neutral site match against Furman. The very next day, they host George Washington University at 2. They get a short break before hosting South Alabama on Saturday at 11. I'm Brandon Thigpen for North Florida Sports Zone.